Okay, hello. Let's talk about Python variables. You're going to see some variables in this class and you are going to learn about how to use them. Variables are a very convenient way of containing data. So for example, when you took algebra, you learned how to assign a value to say X or Y and Python works pretty much the same way. So if you were to type X equals 4 in Python, Python would create a container called X and it would put 4 in that container. Uh, similarly, as you can see in the picture here, if I typed my sum M Y capital S U M equals five plus six plus three. Python would create a container called my sum and it would add together five, six, and three and put them inside of that container. Now we can check all of that. Let's go over to Python for a minute. So I'm going to open up the Python editor that comes with Python and if I type in x equals 4 and click return and now I see that Python has taken that command if I want to see what's inside of x I can just type x here and click return and I can see 4 is inside of x if I type my sum equals 5 plus 6 plus three and then I type my sum I can see that indeed my sum has the value of 14 so variables are convenient that way they allow us to create a named container that holds some kind of data for us that we can then use in a variety of ways there are a few rules about naming these containers so we can't start the name with a number and we should not start it with a capital letter capital letters are reserved for objects objects are something we'll learn about later the reason capitalization is confusing is that there's a huge community of python coders out there around the world and by coding consistently our code is going to work with the community standards and make it easy to share and to edit together that collaborative aspect is the key to why Python is so popular and successful finally there's some keywords in Python that we can't use and if you ever forget what they are you can come back to this video and look at the list here or you can get the list in Python itself so if we go back over to Python for a moment and if I type I'm going to import the keyword library you don't really need to know how to do this but I can type in keyword dot kw list and this command actually tells me all of the words that are reserved in Python at that moment Sometimes the words change a little bit from Python version to version. So in case you ever need to know, that's how you would know. And notice if I were to try to write a variable like uh, my sum, but instead say three my sum equals three, I get a syntax error because I can't start a variable name with a number. Okay. We're going to be using data types in our variables and Python provides quite a few different data types. We're not going to use all of them. Strings, integers, booleans, floats, and lists are very common ones that we will be using frequently. Later on we will see dictionaries and tuples just a bit. There are more. You can read more about them on various tutorials in the documentation in Python but we're not going to need them 
probably, unless your specific project has some special need. We'll just focus on these, the strings, the integers, the booleans, floats, and lists. Okay, I hope that gives you a clear sense of variables and how to use them. Have fun coding. Take care.